Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Ansen with another live coding uh, session. So today we will be diving deep into another interesting uh, challenge on lead code uh, number 1420, uh, build array where you can find the maximum exactly key comparison. So today's task is about counting arrays. Specifically, we want to know how many ways there are to build an array of length n with elements from 1 to m such that there are key search cost operation in the array. So sounds tricky, but don't worry, let's break it down with an example. So let's take a simple example to understand the problem and our approach. So uh, given, uh, let's write it down, uh, n equal 2, m equals 3, and key equal one, so this means we are looking for two uh, element uh, array where the maximum integer is three, so it's from one to three, and key is a, a search uh, cost. So uh, uh, it's a search cost, and uh, let's break this down. So a search cost uh, of one means there is only one jump uh, in value in the entire array. So we can uh, start listing the possible uh, array as four, so it will be one, one, also uh, two, two. So uh, no jump, so the whole array is filled with ones, uh, twos, or uh, threes. So uh, also we can have uh, something that does exceed a jump of a key, so from two uh, to one, and also from three uh, to one as well, and from three, uh, to two. Uh, so all does not exceed uh, jump cost on one, uh, but on the other hand, uh, any combination like uh, one, two, four, uh, one, three will exceed our uh, jump of one, so there are, they are not uh, considered. And the output should be uh, six, because we have, uh, there are six possible uh, arrays. Okay, so this uh, example illustrates the problem, constraint, and our solution logic. So by considering the maximum value in the array and the allowed uh, jump or uh, search cost, we can uh, systematically call count mm, all valid array. And our solution then will use dynamic programming to efficiently compute the answer for a uh, large input. So how do we approach this problem? We can utilize dynamic programming, one of the most powerful technique in coding uh, challenges. And the main idea is to use a DP table to keep track of the number of ways to build an array of certain length with a certain maximum number and certain number of search cost operation. Uh, all right, so it's coding time. So let's start by setting up our uh, function and initializing some essential variables. So it will be mod 10 to 9 plus 7. Uh, DP will be 0, key plus 1, 4. In range, uh, m plus 1. Also, prefix 0, key plus 1, 4. In range m plus 1 and prefix dp, key plus 1, 4, range m and previous prefix, uh, key plus 1, 4, in range m plus 1. Okay, so uh, this mod value is a very large prime number and we use it for model operation to prevent integer overflow especially during multiplication and uh, addition operation. And next, we initialize uh, our uh, dp, prefix, previous dp, and previous prefix tables. So uh, this table will help us store intermediate results and think of dp as our main workspace, prefix as an optimization to speed up calculation, and previous dp and previous prefix as memory of the previous uh, iteration. So now onto the base case, 
this set the groundwork for our uh, solution. So base case uh, initialization using less comprehension. So for j in range to m previous dp, i will be one and prefix will be j. So now for in range to n plus one, resetting yeah, resetting dp and prefix table using slice. So dp zero t plus one for in range m plus one and prefix will be zero key plus one for uh, in range m plus one. Uh, okay, so any array with uh, just one element will always have uh, a search cost of one, right? So for every possible first element from one to m, we initialize previous dp uh, j uh, one to one, and the previous prefix j one uh, is set to j because it's the cumulative sum of previous dp value up to uh, j's. And brace yourself, we are now diving into the heart of our uh, solution. So uh, this loop uh, iterates over the length of the array and we are uh, considering it uh, as we progress and we will be building upon array uh, of uh, increasing uh, length. Uh, so uh, let's uh, dive into the next loop. So max in range one to m plus one uh, and four cost in range one to key plus one and max num cost max num previous dp uh, cost modulo uh, mod and if max num and uh, cost greater than one uh, dp max num uh, will be cost plus previous prefix max num minus one uh, cost minus one and dp max num cost modulo mod uh, okay so this uh, nested uh, loops uh, iterate over possible maximum number uh, so it's uh, max num in the array and the search cost is uh, cost. So within these uh, loops, we calculate the number of ways to build our uh, array based on previous result. And the main idea here is to consider two cases. First, if current uh, number is maximum, it can follow any previous uh, array with the same uh, search cost. And uh, second, so if the current number isn't the maximum, it can follow any previous array with one less uh, search uh, cost. So prefix max num cost prefix max num minus one dp max num cost modulo mod and updating previous prefix next using slice yeah i s here yeah also our mode okay so now previous dp previous prefix will be row for row in dp row uh, for row in prefix. Okay, so uh, the prefix array, uh, what it does, it optimize our solution by keeping track of uh, cumulative uh, sum. So we don't need uh, another nested loop uh, to calculate this. 
uh, and it's a neat trick to uh, speed uh, up uh, things so uh, we, yeah we uh, don't have a so big uh, array and all right we are almost uh, there so after calculating for a particular array length we need to update our memory table for the next uh, iteration so uh, here we are just copying the uh, current dp and prefix table to uh, previous dp and uh, previous prefix uh, respectively and this uh, prepare us for the next iteration uh, where we will build upon array of length one uh, greater so and return prefix m key and uh, yeah there we have it uh, the complete logic and the solution uh, so this is fantastic example of how dynamic programming can simplify and optimize a problem that at first glance seem uh, really complex and uh, computational heavy so let's run it so finger crossed it will work oh yeah so i didn't make any uh, mistake awesome and yes uh, previous mentioned case uh, output uh, six so great our function uh, look solid for uh, synthesis cases so now let's uh, yeah check it for unsynthesis cases as well uh, to double verify and yes as you can see our implementation uh, bit uh, 90 percent with respect to uh, runtime so it's really good and also uh, 84 percent with respect to uh, memory so also uh, really good and there we have it uh, a dynamic programming solution to a, a quite tricky coding uh, challenge and remember uh, practice make perfect so if you found this video uh, helpful give it a thumb up uh, share it with your friends and subscribe for uh, more coding uh, challenges tutorial uh, machine learning tech and much more in the future and uh, until next time stay motivated uh, keep practicing happy coding and see you next time